there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients, and I shook hands with everybody. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who has COVID-19, has just been moved into intensive care. And this comes about a month after he bragged about shaking people's hands. And the initial response coming from the British government was not enough. So I'm going to get to that in a minute. First, I just want to say, you know, obviously, I hope that Boris Johnson gets through this. Even people that um, disagree with him on you know, when it comes to politics, nobody, nobody wants harm on anybody. But it is important to point out, like, the reason he's being affected right now is because he didn't take this as seriously as he should have, as a leader. Not even just him personally, but as a leader, he didn't take this uh, virus seriously from the start. He didn't listen to the experts from the beginning. So let me show you uh, the statement that they put out. So Joe Pike here, who's uh, from Sky News, says, Breaking uh, Boris Johnson in intensive care. Uh, since Sunday evening, the Prime Minister has been under the care of doctors at St. Thomas Hospital in London after being admitted with persistent symptoms of coronavirus. Over the course of this afternoon, the condition of the Prime Minister has worsened and, on the advice of his medical team, has been moved to the intensive care unit at the hospital. The PM has asked Foreign Secretary Dominic Rabb, who is the first Secretary of State, to, dis to uh, deputize for him uh, where necessary. The PM is receiving excellent care and thanks all NHS staff for their hard work and dedication. So again, we hope he gets through this. I hope he gets through this. Um, but we do have to give some context. Before I get there, I just want to show you the response from the new Labour leader, uh, Keir Starmer, who said, terribly sad news. All the country's thoughts are with the Prime Minister and his family during this incredibly difficult time. I am with Keir Starmer on that. But let's give you some context here. So this is on March 3rd. This video posted here by Jordan All. Watch what uh, Boris Johnson says here. Well, I, well, Victoria, I can tell you that I, 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 I'm shaking hands. I was, at a, I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients, and I shook hands with everybody. Uh, you'll be pleased to know, and, and I continue to shake hands. And uh... So clearly that wasn't the smart thing to do. Now, it's not just about him. Like, it's one thing, if this is some random dude saying this, yeah, it was dumb for them to say. This is the prime minister. So when he says something like, I was in a hospital shaking hands with coronavirus patients and acting and, and saying it in a way where I'm perfectly fine, nothing's wrong with this, what you are doing is you are encouraging other people to not take the virus seriously. And again, this is March 3rd. At this time, people knew it was serious. South Korea took it seriously immediately, listened to the experts, and began contact tracing everybody that had it, making sure that people that had come into contact um, uh, with patients that had COVID-19 were also uh, self-isolating. So you see when certain countries take it seriously, how, how well they've done up to this point. So South Korea, their numbers have continually dropped since they, take, since they took serious measures beginning in the mid, middle of January. The UK, it's gotten pretty bad. And it isn't just words like this. It's also uh, the policy. So as New York Times uh, had a story here, this is, what date is this? March 13th. So as Europe shuts down, Britain takes a different contentious approach. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has largely kept Britain open, opting for more targeted measures, a strategy that has startled some epidemiologists. So this strategy here, absolutely infected more people in the UK with the virus than otherwise would have gotten it. 100%. And there's more. This is just uh, disgusting. And people should be happy this never went through. But initially, uh, Boris Johnson, his government had a plan for herd immunity. So the garden here, the government's immunity plan, uh, herd immunity plan is callous and dangerous. Let me see if I can get you a, some of the uh, feedback here. So this is from uh, Tom Conroy in Dublin. The UK government's strategy to minimize the impact of COVID-19 is to allow the virus to pass through the entire population so that we acquire herd immunity. Implicit in this is the acceptance of large numbers of deaths of vulnerable people. Hence, Boris Johnson saying that many families will lose loved ones. 
This was his plan. Now, thankfully, the experts took hold and made sure that wasn't the plan that went forward. But that was his initial plan, was herd immunity. Let everybody get it. So then, yeah, some people are going to lose loved ones, but oh well. Well, how about that plan now? Like, this is the typical conservative mindset. This, this inability to understand the impact of what you support until it impacts you personally. And then all of a sudden you wake up and realize, oh, maybe letting people die isn't a great idea. Maybe letting, you know, the entire uh, nation get this virus isn't actually the way to solve it because now I'm being affected personally by this. One more thing here. Um, people are finding comedy in this and you can understand why. The Onion just tweeted this story out. Boris Johnson released from hospital after defunding it, shutting it down. This, again, goes to a different aspect of the conservative approach to, uh, in this case, healthcare, when it comes to underfunding the NHS. So, look, again, nobody... We hope Boris Johnson gets through this, obviously. But... This is also the right time to analyze the impact of their words, the impact of the conservative platform, the impact of what they do. Because when it impacts people you don't know, you don't think about it. But suddenly when it impacts people you do know and you support, then all of a sudden, oh, now, now, now it matters. Now it's a big deal. It was a big deal the entire time. If they took it seriously from the start, then they could have prevented a lot of, uh, a lot of people getting sick. But ultimately, again, we hope Boris Johnson, um, I hope Boris Johnson gets through this. But just keep in mind what the conservative party fights for.